up guys, Viper FPV here. And today I am out flying the DJI system. I actually just updated to the 50 megabits per second video, I guess, thing that they did. I really don't know what the details of it are, but it's supposed to make like everybody's saying, it's supposed to be like so awesome, awesome. But uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fly a pack, a regular pack and see how, kind of get familiar with it again. And then I'm gonna go enable it and uh, tell you if I notice anything really different. So here we go. This is in low latency mode, by the way. So far, you know what? I do notice that off the bat, I do notice maybe there's like a 10 to 20% increase probably. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I noticed that, uh, yeah, I mean, I just noticed that picture quality does look better. I mean, I, I, I could just blatantly say it, not like tremendously 50% better, but I can say it's probably a good 10 to 20%. And what I mean by image quality, I would say it looks sharper. It looks kind of like, and it has less latency. It's like noticeable though. Yeah, I'd say it's noticeable. I noticed it right off the bat as soon as I took off. Yeah, this probably also will translate maybe also to the recording quality. Um, no, probably not because that's to do with the transmission from the goggles to the air unit. So I'll probably say this does not apply to the goggle, I mean, to the recording, but I think it will apply to uh, just flying FPV. Not bad though for a free update though. We gotta give it to DJI for that. How are you liking that 50 frames per second? 50 megabits per second, it's pretty good. I, don't, I mean, it's not like it's a huge difference. It's, it is a small difference, about 10 to 20%, I would say, where the image does look clear. And I didn't notice that it has, doesn't really have any noticeable impact on late, like latency at all. It feels like it's actually better. But I'm about to end this pack. So uh, this is Viper FV, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.